This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane and I'm back with another tour review and today the third third of the wave two because I already reviewed the the first two dice of this wave, so the two the two third, and this is the third one. Uh, the white dragon and uh, hopefully this video will do better than the uh, the other one I mean it's weird how YouTube works sometimes you have my first video of the wave one of the dice links it was almost at 3,000 views so you know that's fairly good for my channel I'm really happy with that so I went in doing the other two dices and I thought ah, it's gonna be you know maybe a little less than that a lot less I got barely a hundred view I think I'm at 70 something and uh, so you never know with YouTube what's going to be popular and what's not going to be popular. Uh, hopefully this one, the White Dragon, is going to be a little more popular than the other two. But part of reviewing is just the fun of you know putting out the review and having fun. So not too bothered with uh, the uh, the amount of views uh, I get. You know, I just I expected a little uh, a little more out of that uh, video. But we'll see with this one what happens. Uh, it's a great dice. I already opened it, played with it a little bit. Uh, he came in with the uh, plastic uh, protection inside, like uh, some of the others. Um, it's weird. I figured they they wouldn't have it because I think it was the uh, Displacer Beast who didn't have any protection. Uh, this one does, so uh, I don't know. Maybe it's just a spacing issue. Uh, maybe it's back too tight in that little dice, so it doesn't uh, allow for a, a thin paper sheet. I don't know. But uh, before I do the review, I just want to remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm super proud of. And also check out my sponsor, DJC Collectibles, a fantastic online store. And uh, even get sometimes he gets uh, GameStop exclusive. That's so cool. But uh, yeah, check it out. And at the end of the video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything Transformer. And now let's roll the intro. Right, taking a look first at the box standard box uh, no plastic window you, you, but you know there's not much you could show anyway so I guess for these figure actually it kind of makes sense uh, nice product shot the artwork this is a very nice uh, dragon the white dragon is probably my least favorite of the five chromatic dragons but he still looks really good um, I think they could have used maybe, I don't know, a little more darker background so that you could see more of the details because white on white isn't the greatest, but eight step to transform and really eight step, it's that's pushing it. Like you, you could drop this guy and it would transform. So, but uh, no, he looks, uh, he looks good. And you know, standard Hasbro stuff. Uh, same thing with the instructions. This is uh, standard Hasbro, you know, We've seen this since War for Cybertron, or maybe before that. So, uh, this one goes from uh, dragon to dice and dice to dragon. So, it's pretty cool. And now, I this is the other two from uh, Wave 2, and this is the White Dragon. Um, could use a little paint on the numbers, honestly. That would have been a great enhancement. Um, I'm not a painter, so uh, I don't know if I'll uh, I'll want to do that someday, maybe. But uh, the, all, the only paint is the Dungeons and Dragon logo. So, all right, and then uh, the transformation. Actually, this one is fairly simple. You pry the wing. So I guess that's two step, or maybe that's one step. Um, then you have this connection here that you want to. Oh, here that you want to pry out for the tail flip it around open this and you have the legs you can already see the details on all the scales and everything so I think most of the budget okay well that's a QC issue with this guy uh, the ball joint doesn't really uh, it could be a little tighter uh, all right, let me just unfold all of the legs. 
turn the, the claw around. And then once you've moved this out of the way, this for the head, you want to pop it open like this. And then you have your mouth. It's kind of limited. And this one too, the ball joint is very, uh, not loose, but pops easily. So just be careful. Look at that. And then you have to unfold the wings. So I guess they're calling that a step too. So I like uh, they have the same type of swivel action on top here so that you can move your wing about. So I like to display them with you know full spread. Looks really good. But you might want to. Uh, this one doesn't. Uh, hmm. So it's hard to get the um, all of the wing details in front. Like the interior would have been nice if facing forward. Or maybe I can, well, yeah. But then the head gets in the way, so. But from the side, looks really good. All right, so what you get with the actual figure, you have those nice blue eyes here, and then some blue gum details, I guess. Uh, the big uh, teeth, the little horns, big fin here. It's good. All the scales. That looks really good. Painted fingernails, getting claws. Um, I don't know. To my colorblind eyes, this looks pink. Maybe it's red for the blood of his enemy, but I don't think so. Oh, you do have a, uh, a waist swivel. Oh, that's cool. So, man, you can get a full... Oh, well, the wing kind of gets in the way, so you have to move it about, but you do get a full merry-go-round. Oh, there you go. At the arms, you get a... Well, not going to try, but it's on a ball joint, so you could get... Well, there you go. Ah, see? Pops again. So you, you can get your Ferris wheel. Uh, the mount moves. Uh, the head goes up and down. The neck rotates. Uh, goes up and down as well. Articulation at uh, the elbow, ball joint at the hand, so that you can give it a full rotation. It's kind of double jointed for the uh, the elbow. That's kind of cool. Uh, same thing at the back leg. You can uh, pivot it all the way around if you move all the stuff around. You have two joint, one for the I don't know what that part is. This would be the uh, the knee, but this is the I don't know the elbow of the back leg. And then you have another rotation at the claw. And the tail, the tail moves in uh, one, two, three, four spot, plus the articulation that connects to the butt. So you have this, you have this rotation here. You have a up and down here. Here you have a rotation. It's kind of weird, you don't have a rotation everywhere. And then you have a rotation here at the tip. So that's pretty cool and he's able to stand I mean I'm having a bit of a issue with the way that the the whole back legs are shaped they kind of you see they naturally try to go on the inside like side by side it's hard to get them to, to separate well it's impossible to get them to separate so for posing, I mean, he stands because of the tail, and dragons will some often do that, try to stand when they attack, so. And he looks good with the other two, uh, the blue beholder and the displacer beast. Um, you can see the similitude in the wings and this, except, you know, the tentacles are made to go thinner. They have more articulation to fold uh, the dice parts uh, on the inside, so. But he looks good, I mean, the details on the wing, it's worth it that silver uh, inside I like that but I do want to compare him with the other two dragons hold on so here we are with the other two dragons uh, the black dragon the red dragon um, and I like that they respect the head sculpt I mean the they all you know all the claws and legs are pretty much the same thing but uh, the important parts being the head sculpt and uh, the um, the tail are just different enough 
and the colors are, of course the colors inside the wing uh, looks really good but you can see you know if I compare the white and the red uh, the head sculpt is very different and you know there's uh, big horns on the red one and no horns and it's a completely different mold it's not a retool I like that uh, these two have similar uh, tail hand tail end sorry but if you compare with the black dragon it's a different tail uh, this way so there you go and again the head sculpt completely different mold and my favorite is still the black dragon love this one you see what I mean with the legs though you know they they are very apart and they move a little more freely and then this one is he's not can oh they're not connected at the same spot I thought the, the dragon was more similar oh hold on did I I'm an idiot I think hold on hold on did I forget a step I think I did I think this goes like this and then turn it like that ah and then you flip this up turn it around or you can still uh no you can't oh there you go so if i do it like that see i didn't read the instruction this time ah much better look at that there you go there you go so now i have the green dragon on the way while i have the hold of wave four, three on the way and i'm eagerly waiting for the next wave because i hope they don't cancel this line before they do the blue dragon so the red you know the green dragon is secured i have him on the way from djc collectibles and i can't wait to have like a full set of dragons and hopefully this is gonna still be popular and they're gonna keep going and make the uh, you know the metallic dragon gold copper brass silver and bronze i would love that definitely more you know more dungeons and dragon creatures always gonna be fun I have a Mimic on the way, I have the uh, image of the Displacer Beast and a brown all bear. that's wave 3. And I can't wait for that. So I'm gonna leave you guys with this, I hope you've enjoyed this review, if you did please like, subscribe and hit the bell. Also leave a comment, I love reading those, keep coming back, I have more on the way and remember, nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole. Take care.